Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tessin, and today's build is gonna be a short and simple laser cutter project using our universal laser cutter for a white elephant gift exchange that I'm hosting at my house this coming holiday. And I thought it'd be fun to build something using the laser cutter, but maybe put a little bit of a twist on it. And what I came up with was a scale model, which I love, architectural model of a landmark in San Francisco, Sutro Tower. No, it's not the Transamerica building or the Golden Gate Bridge, but it's that towering radio tower that you may have seen identified with San Francisco. And I found a really cool model that can be laser cut uh, online and I downloaded it. So I made a prototype. This is that prototype. It's just made of some uh, some foam board or cardstock. And uh, I'm really happy with it. Came together very easily, but I wanna make it out of a tougher material. So I'm gonna make it out of walnut and then put a little bit of a spin on it. So first step is to load up the design on our laptop and get to cutting. Okay, so here's the design, and um, the way I've laid it out, it's actually made to be cut on eighth inch ply, and the three sides of the tower are actually double stacked. They're actually quarter inch, so I'm gonna cut them on eighth inch material and then glue them together. And the way I have it laid out, it's like that jigsaw puzzle. I wanna get as much material close to each other as possible. Yeah, it's gonna be a maybe about 10 inches on a 20 inch by 12 inch sheet of material. I can probably make two of these, but we're only gonna do one today. So let's load up our software. It's about 17 inches by 10 and a half inches. Go to our settings panel where we have our handy materials database. Gonna to go to wood and walnut. And then here's where I'm gonna add my material thickness save uh, that and then get to printing. This should be pretty simple. Power up the laser cutter. Here we go. That was fast. Oh yeah. All right. Knocking all the pieces out. Time to take off the protective wrapping and get to assembly. I think that's best in time lapse, don't you? All right, so there you have it. Sutro Tower in beautiful, what I think, beautiful walnut. I, I love making these things. I think it's a great project to do with a laser cutter because it's not just two dimensional, it's taking flat sheets and making some type of three dimensional piece out of it. But I'm not done because I wanna add my own twist to it. And over this past year of working on laser projects, something I've really liked doing is using mixed media, not just using wood or acrylics, but combining them and even just incorporating other elements into something that's laser cut. So for Sutra Tower, I went shopping uh, this weekend and found these in Japantown. These are from Kotobukiya. They are tiny xenomorphs. They're awesome. You can actually get them on eBay or Amazon. Um, Kotobukiya makes them. And I think these are xenomorphs made for, for like, their minifigures done in yoga poses, I wanna say. They're two per pack, but I thought they would be great additions to maybe adorn the Sutra Tower. So I bought this set of three of them, which means six total. I don't think I need six xenomorphs on this. Let's see what we can do here to make the Sutro Tower architectural model a little more interesting. Oh, oh yeah. All right, let's try this. All right, 
here's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this xenomorph, let's say right here. Perfect. This guy can sit up here. Nice. And this one, maybe like right there. Yeah. Someone's walking away with a lucky, a lucky present in this white elephant gift. Now, I don't want to super glue these little tiny miniatures onto the architectural model because I don't know if the person getting this is going to want it. So I'm going to use actually temporarily uh, adhere them using a material called butyl. It's kind of like silly putty. We actually use it in production all the time to adhere our GoPros or cameras inside cars. Um, Adam introduced us to them and it's very tacky, very sticky. And I can use just a small amount, peel off a small amount, Put it here and tack him on right there. It's not permanent, but it's strong enough that will hold it. So if I shook it a little bit, it's still pretty secure. All right, I'm going to get to set dressing the rest of this Sutro Tower, package it up, and then we'll have a fun white elephant gift exchange. That's today's simple but sweet laser cut project. I hope you've enjoyed our projects throughout the past year and we'll have many more in 2018. See you then.